In this video, we're going to look at the if condition container. So what I'm going to do is if the ring over here, if it's visible, I want my circle to be uh, the circle called output to be green. Uh, and if it's invisible, if it's unactive, so the circle will turn red. So let's go ahead and open the uh, Easy Link Editor. I'm going to grab my uh, container over here. And under the container category, we have active, which is the visibility of the container. The next thing I'm going to grab is the condition if. And I'm going to connect the active property of the container to the input. So as you can see, I cannot connect it right now because our if statement here is a float. So I have to change this to a Boolean. You can see by moving the mouse over the active field, you can see here that we have the uh, field type called Boolean. And now we can connect the field to the property. So I want this uh, this to be triggered when the uh, container is true. So I'm going to put that in the operator. And in the argument, I don't need anything. So I can right click and remo remove this field. And I'm going to add else as well. So if the uh, container is active, then this will be triggered. Otherwise, the else will be triggered. So let me grab the output container and add that to the stage as well. So what I want to do here is grab the material color. And this is a property that we want to control. So the first thing I need to do is grab a set value node. This allows me to set different values. So I'm going to add over here, I want a color uh, value. So I'll just select color one. And I'm going to grab a second one of these nodes and set this to the same as well, uh, color, color one. So this will be my uh, value when this condition is true. So I'm going to select the color. I can open the color picker. And let's select a green color. And on this one, I'm going to do the same. But this time, I'm going to create uh, select a red color. So if this statement is true, I want to set this value. Otherwise, if it's false, I want to set the red color. So the last thing I need to do is set attach these to our color property. However, the problem is that we cannot connect two values to one uh, input. So the last thing we need to do is get the last changed uh, node from our uh, toolbox over here. Let's just move all these nodes a bit to the left. And I'm going to attach both these values to the inputs over here. So. Uh, I need to change this again to color. And now I can attach them. And then I can attach the one output I have to the color. So just to explain what happens here, I'll just the we listen on the active property, which is a Boolean on the container, which goes into our if uh, node. If the value is true, then we set the uh, green color. Otherwise, else, we set the red color. These two properties go into our last change node. So whichever one has last been changed will be pushed to our material color over here. So let's close the editor. And let's just, sorry, let's trigger the active, toggle the active of our ring. And you can see that the colors are changing. 